Last Sunday at the Dartmouth Relays, UMass Lowell sophomore Kirsten Darsney won the triple jump and finished second in the high jump. She was also part of the 4 by 200 meter relay team that grabbed a third place finish. All in a day's work for Darsney. She was named the America East Field Performer of the Week, and she is our Riverhawk of the Week as well. Yeah, you really just need to be explosive and sweet, you know, and she is. You know, she's a strong kid that uh, you know, can be explosive, and both those events require that, and, and that's really where the similarities come into. For you, when you compete, is it about winning, is it about placing, or is it about distances or times or that sort of thing? Um, when it comes to competing, for me it's definitely about always trying to go for the personal best or trying to go for the gold that day. Um, at the last meet, I definitely wanted, like, I wanted to win, like me and the girl in second for triple jump. Um, she had like a really good mark and I really, really wanted to beat that. So it's almost a combination of both because I want to win but at the same time, it's not all about winning. Like, I really want to make that personal best. Like, in high jump, I made um, 169, close to what I made at the last meet, 170. So when I was going for 174, I was more so thinking, like, oh, like, I really want to get this height for myself, not really just to win the meet. In this case, we talk about two events that, to, to a casual observer, seem very different from one. Are there more similarities between triple jump and high jump than we may realize? Um, I would say there are some similarities. It's all about really being able to control your power and your momentum. Because both of them with the run up, you have to be able to control the force that you're creating with your approach. Because if you can't control it, it's, it's going to go haywire. <laughs> I talked with Gary after the meet, mm -hmm. and, and I asked more or less that question about them seem to be different events, but other similarities. And he talked about the explosiveness, in effect, changing speed into exploding, whether it's up or yep. out. Where does that explosiveness come from? I would say it just comes from, you know, all the lifting we do, all the workouts we do. Um, you know, I've always been like a like a bouncy kid, I guess you could say. Like when I did gymnastics. That's what they always said about me. Like, I love to tumble. I love to bounce around like that. So I would say it's just, just a thing I have. I like to be explosive. I, I don't know, and we'll see how this year progresses, but last year, we thought it was simply multi-event, pentathlon or heptathlon or, yep. or what have you. It seems as though you're concentrating this year more on specific events. First off, Triple jump, high jump, are those events that you love or do you wish it was hurdles and, and shot put or something? No, I definitely love triple jump and high jump. Those are definitely my two favorite events. Um, and I would say this year I'm really trying to focus down on the individual events because I'm more consistent this year with them and the more consistent they get as individual events themselves when I do a multi they'll be more consistent so in turn by focusing on them separately when I go to a multi it'll help me in the long run anyways. Why, do, why are those events ones that, that you're really attracted to? What um, is it about them? I've just always loved the focus of a field event you know like in a race like the gun goes off and you run and it's all like a lot of like adrenaline. I like it in the field events, like you get to stand there and like think, like really focus yourself. Like you get to picture what it is that you want to do. And I just love jumping. This thing's a lot of fun. What's your preparation like? When you're in the midst of an event, you know, you're, you're up next or maybe you're third or fourth coming up. But what goes through your mind? How do you prepare? Do you like block out the rest of the world and just what? Yeah, a lot of things that people or like my mom used to always say I do, I pace. Like if anyone's watching me, like when I'm like up next, I pace a lot walking back and forth. And I just think, you know, like, do I want this height? Like I want to get this height or I really want to get this distance. Like, and I think about everything I need to do. Like my approach needs to be on point. I need to jump, I need to keep my chest up, you know, whatever it is for that event that I need to do. And then I stand on the runway or you know, in the circle for high jump, and I just take another second, and I just breathe, think this is what we're going to do, and I just go. <laughs> I don't know if Dartmouth is kind of typical of the order that events take place, but it strikes me as pretty typical. Okay, 
high jump comes first. You're dealing with the high jump. Then the triple jump. Is it? Is there a bit of you have to change gears mentally to go from one event to the next? Do you have enough time in between always? It's definitely a change of gears. Um, it happens a lot in the multi too, because what happens is when you have multiple events, you can't let the first event affect your second event. Like even if you have an amazing first event, you can carry like that good motivation, like I'm doing good, I'm doing great, but you can't go to your next event thinking about the last one. Like if you have a bad, if I had a bad day at high jump, I wouldn't have been able to go triple jump and be like, oh, like I did bad at high jump. You have to just switch gears and be like, okay, this is another event, this is different, I have to perform for this. And you've been performing very, very well. Kristen, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.